Hello and welcome. This is Khushbu Bhatta and today we will learn how you can automatically copy new message from Slack and send it to Telegram. So let's say you run a business and to stay connected to your customers you use both Slack and Telegram. Now you want to send a message to them to your customers regarding a new stock alert on both Slack and Telegram. So how will you do it? First you can go to Slack, compose a message and send it to, to your channel there. Now Copy the same message, come back to Telegram and send it to your customers there. But why go through so much repetition when you can do integration? So here we will integrate Slack with Telegram all using Pabli Connect. So whenever a new message is sent on your Slack channel, it will automatically be sent to your customers on Telegram. You can find the workflows link below in the description box. And don't you worry, this entire automation process is so simple that it can even be done by a person of non-technical knowledge. So come to my screen to see how we do it. To automatically get new Slack messages on Telegram, let us first go to Pabli's website. For that, we will write P-A-B-B-L-Y, that is Pabli.com. You can see the landing page of Pabli. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, did you know that if you sign up for free, you will get 100 free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabli Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name the workflow. We will simply write Slack to Telegram, create. Now you can see two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is basically when this happens, action says do this. Let's try to understand this with an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed, an action can be add the order details in a Google Sheet. So here, in our case, a trigger could be when a Slack receives a new message, an action could be send the same message to Telegram. So let us begin. Let us write Slack for our trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new message. Let us connect the two, add new connection. It will ask you to type either as user or bot. We will write user, save, allow. And it says authorization successful. Now you will have to select the channel. Uh, there are a lot of channels. Well, the fact that you can see all my channels here means that Slack is connected with Pabli Connect now. So these are the channels of my account like you can see here. These are all the channels. So I want that a message from this particular channel here from digital marketing. I want a message when I send a message in digital marketing channel, it should go to Telegram. So therefore I selected digital marketing as my channels. Now let us now to check this integration, let us quickly go to Slack and send a dummy message. Here you can see on the left hand side, I have my channels. Let me select my channel digital marketing as I selected this here. So here I will just send a message new stock alert. Check out the collection today. Okay, now let me just send this and save and send test request. Okay, it has received the message. You can see the text new stock alert. Check out the collection today and so on. So this means we have successfully connected Slack with Pabli Connect. Now on to the action step. Since we want this message to go on Telegram. We will select Telegram bot as the action application. 
For the action event, we will simply select send a text message or reply HTML. Connect. Add new connection. Now it will ask you for a token. A token is basically a link that connects two applications. So for that, let us go to, so you can read the instructions here. Let us follow these and go to Botfather. Here you can see I've opened the Botfather's chat and let us just write start. Okay, it has send you this message. Now what we want is to create a new bot. Let us click here. All right, a new bot name. How? Okay, so it is asking for a new bot name. So let us just write Slack trial or any anything else you want. Good. Okay, now it wants a username for your bot and that must follow this format. Like you can see, that means it should have underscore and bot at the end. So now let us give a username. Just write Pabli Slack bot okay congratulations on your new bot now you will see this here use this token to access the api so this is the api link the token sorry copy this come back to pabli connect and paste the token here and save it's loading all right, it has successfully connected. Now pay a little attention as we go through the chat ID procedure. For this, let us again go to Telegram. All right, you will see this here. So what we have to do is we have to make a new group and make our bot the admin of that group. Before we create a new group, let us activate this bot. Let us click here. All right. And now just click on start. You can see we have got our bot in our conversation. Now let us create a new group. Okay, it is asking me to add members. I will add my bot that is Slack trial. Here it is as the member of this group. Okay, now I need to name the group. I will just like write connecting. Sorry connecting slack telegram okay here is my new group you can see my new group is made now you can see the two members here these it's me and my bot slack trial now now what you have to do is you will have to promote this bot slack trial as your group admin you can do that that using your phone as well like how i will do okay i have promoted slack trial my bot as the admin of this group connecting slack telegram now here you can see this url just take this code copy this code with hyphen hyphen is very important now come to pabli connect and just paste this like you can see here the code with a hyphen so make sure you use this format and the chat id is done now we will map the message that we want to send to telegram so here it is this was the message that is new stock alert check out the collection today so we want to send the same message that we got on slack that we sent on slack to telegram to our customers on telegram now one more thing the importance of mapping i would like to tell you here once you have mapped in the data that is the data from here we got this data from here in the response in the very first step you can see so what happens once you have just mapped in the data from the next time when a new message is sent on slack it would be automatically ma be mapped in in the text message here in the text box here and the same message would be forwarded or sent to telegram so you will not have to write it or type it manually it will this field the mapped field gets automatically updated 
Now let us just save and send test request. Okay, it says response received and you can see here the result from first name, username and so on. Mm -hmm. Let us go to telegram and see if the message was sent there. Yes, you can see new stock alert. Check out the collection today. This is exactly the same message that we had sent on Slack. Here I'll show you in my digital marketing channel, new stock alert. Check out the collection today and the same got sent here in the telegram as you can see. I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.